Bismillah. You're watching the mailbox. I'm Yusuf Estes. We have a website. It's called IslamMailbox.com. You can go to that website to get more information and also to send your emails in to us as well. We have an email that just comes in to us and it says, I have received Reba on my account, my bank account. Now, how do I deal with it? Well, Reba, by the way, is usury. It's the interest that comes into your account if you use a bank. There's nothing really you can do about it. Some banks, uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have a bank that doesn't put it in my account, doesn't charge me any interest, and they don't pay me any interest either. But in the case where they do, then what you've got to do is to take that Reba out and distribute it uh, without any gain back to you whatsoever not thinking of it in terms of charity or anything like that. You cannot use it to give to people as uh, charity. You're really not supposed to do that, according to the scholars. But we do have some rulings on that to show you where their proof is from on the website that we have called the islammailbox.com. Uh, okay, this one is saying, <clears throat> I like many things about Islam, and I believe in Allah. But I'm afraid of what my parents will do if I become a Muslim. What should I do? Well, that's a good question. You didn't say how old you are, where you live, and what are some of your options. Because if you're living with your parents and you're young, uh, obviously this is a much bigger thing than if you're 50 years old and your parents are living halfway around the other side of the earth. But just in general, I would say to you, regardless, if you believe in Allah and you really want to do what Allah wants you to do, then in your heart, you're already going toward Islam anyway. So the thing for you to do is to open up. Now open the mouth. You open your heart, alhamdulillah, open your mouth and say it. I want to be a Muslim. I bear witness there's no God to worship except the law. And I bear witness Muhammad's his messenger. That's the best thing you can do. Then after that, take everything according to the way Allah brings it to you. If some people reject that, that'll be their choice. But if they accept it, that's their choice. And Allah will test you in your commitment. That's what this life is about, a test, to see if you'll really do what you said you would do, to be sincere to Him. So He's going to test you with a lot of things, but don't be afraid. He'll never put more on you than you can bear. Sometimes He'll test you to the limit, but then He'll make it easy for you. He says, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما كسبت We've mentioned this ayah in other programs. What it means is Allah is not going to burden somebody more than they can carry and He's not going to uh, task you with uh, things that you're unable to deal with. We also don't carry the load of somebody else is what it says. And then also in Quran Allah says فَإِنَمَا الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَ إِنَمَا الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَ And this is that Allah is going to make it easy after the difficulty. So for sure He's going to give you a difficulty, but He will make it easy after that. We've got some others coming in, but we'll go ahead and wrap up this session and then see you on our next session for the mailbox. Don't forget the website, islammailbox.com. Till then, peace. Assalamu alaikum.